In this video, I want to show you the absolute most simple way that you can make salmon and get dinner on the table as fast as possible. So we're going to make a super simple salmon in a cast iron pan. It's going to go in the oven and it's going to be done and start to finish in less than 15 minutes. Uh, before I get into the recipe video, check the description box below. But enough talking, let's get cooking. So let's take a look at the ingredients that we're going to use today. Uh, obviously, we got our salmon. We got the whole side. This is an Atlantic salmon. Uh, I keep Keep the salmon whole and then I like to cut it down. Uh, some people aren't totally comfortable with that so you can have your butcher or fish person do it yourself. We're going to use some of my base seasonings. This is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Uh, if you don't already have this in your kitchen and this is your first time here, I'll throw a link right up there to the video recipe. We're also going to use some Italian seasoning and smoked paprika. This is like my go-to trio for seasoning a lot of stuff. So if we're going to make this salmon or we're going to make it really simple, this little trio definitely works. Um, and then that's all we're going to put on in addition to a little bit of olive oil and we're just going to garnish it with some cut up parsley that I had already had cut up from last night and we'll slice this lemon up for some fresh lemon juice. Uh, so now let's, uh, let me clean up this salmon and I'll uh, cut it into fillets. So let's uh, preheat our broiler. I'm going to put the broil on a little lower, probably broil on 450 if you have a low setting, that would be good. Now take a look at this beautiful piece of fish. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up just a little bit more and I'm gonna break it down into individual pieces. Uh, you saw before it was sitting on some paper towel that's gonna help soak up some of the moisture by the skin. Uh, if this skin has any chance to get crispy, you gotta dry it out. Uh, or if you don't even like the skin, we're still gonna cook it with the skin because the easiest way to take the skin off is just to cook it and remove it after it's already cooked. So I'm, this is the same paper towel that was on it before and I'm just gonna go down the fish, taking off any moisture. Sometimes there's little scales and stuff that get stuck to it. So now we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take my chef's knife and run it along the scales here going backwards. This is gonna peel off any scales that are stuck. Sometimes there's one or two of them. It's also gonna remove some moisture from the skin and that's gonna really help this fish, uh, or at least the skin, get nice and crispy in our pan. And you can see uh, I did pick up a couple of scales and you definitely have a little bit of moisture coming off. I'll probably do that one or two more times. You know, the fish people do their best to take off all the scales, but there might be one or two that's on you. There you go. Now look at the, the little moisture and one, two, you got three scales on there. I'll just clean that right off the knife. Okay, so now let's cut this into fillets. I'm just gonna eyeball it and I'm going probably about like three fingers that I'm keeping the width of this salmon and I'm making sure that I'm going all the way through the skin. Once I cut one, then you have a really good eyeball as to like how, how to make the next one and try to cut them nice and straight. Once it hits that skin, nice downward pressure. For this video, I'm just gonna cook these four pieces and I'm gonna save the rest of the side. So now we're going to season and coat these with some olive oil in here. I got just some regular extra virgin olive oil. Now we're gonna throw in some of my base seasoning. This is that blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Little bit of some dried fresh herbs here. I got an Italian blend. You can use a herb de Provence, you can use any other combination like dried herb seasoning and a little smoked paprika for some beautiful color and that wonderful smoky flavor. Only a little bit of this. And then I like to put a touch more oil just right over the top just to loosen up some of the dry stuff and then we're just gonna mix this by hand. You wanna be gentle with these fillets not to damage them but trying to make sure that you're getting them nice and coated with all the oil and the spices and the herbs. So now I'm gonna wash my hands and let's head over to the stove to put this fish in a cast iron pan. And we're going to use the cast iron pan because the cast iron pan is gonna get nice and hot on the bottom. We're gonna hit that skin right on the pan. It's gonna crisp that skin up and then the uh, cast iron pan goes in the oven very, very nicely. So we're gonna send this in the oven, finish it on broil to cook the top. We don't even have to flip the fish. So that's just one less step to do and one less thing to mess up. So now let's put in a little spray oil just to coat the bottom of the pan. And then in goes our salmon skin side down. And it better be sizzling as it hits the pan. 
push that skin really nicely into the pan. We're gonna cook this for about two to three minutes and then this is gonna go in the oven on that broil setting and then we're gonna get the top of these. No need to flip them. We'll give them a nice little light spray oil on the top, shut off our heat, and this is gonna go in the oven. Now this goes in the oven for another, maybe like three to six minutes. While those are in the oven, we'll just slice up this lemon into lemon slices, one slice per piece. And boom, just like that, this salmon is done. That was in there for about eight minutes. You can see that the proteins are coming out of the side of the salmon a little bit. If it's oozing out in an extreme way, it's probably overcooked. This looks just about right where it's just starting to ooze out. And we got that a nice crust right over the top. You can see it's starting to get a little brown and that's like um, some really nice flavor. The best part about cast iron cooking is that you serve it right in there. It looks pretty cool. It's all rustic, um, presents really nicely, and it keeps the food warm. So this thing's gonna stay warm for at least 15 or 20 minutes just sitting in here because the pan's gonna be giving off that nice heat. So now we just gotta garnish this with a little bit of that chopped parsley, sprinkle it nice and high right over the top, and look how it just makes this dish come alive. And now we'll just throw in those lemon wedges right into the pan, one for each piece. And this is done and good to go. So now the best part, let's taste it. This pan is still super hot. So I'm gonna go with this piece right here. We can actually move this all the way over. Use our fish spatula. So before I dig into this, let me show you the bottom of this salmon because this beautiful crispy skin. I'm a skin eater, I'm gonna eat this, I'm really gonna like it. If you're not into salmon skin, it'll just come right off, but I really wanna show like how beautiful, dark and crispy that is. And now right before we eat, we'll take that lemon, we'll squeeze it right over the top, nice fresh lemon juice. Really make those flavors pop. And now look at that fish inside, still steaming cooked all the way through, still nice and shiny. So not overcooked, not undercooked. Mm, this is gonna be a fantastic bite. I think I'm gonna make my first bite, this little, this little end bite with the skin. Mm. The great thing about salmon is how delicious it is and how little it needs. Just like shrimp, it doesn't need much and it tastes so good. Mm. What do we put in here? Maybe like four or five ingredients, a little bit of lemon right on the top. Oh, so good. Take a look at, if you're unsure if your fish is done and cooked properly, you want it to be cooked all the way through so no raw fish shouldn't look like it did before. And then it should have this nice little shine on it. I hope like the light is picking up on that. And it's got this nice little shine and that's just showing you that this fish is nice and moist. Mm. The skin on this is absolutely delicious. Let me know in the comments section if you eat the crispy salmon skin or you're a wimp and you pull it off. I love all the thick pieces, but this piece at the end, because it's, it's it's so crispy, and it's all that nice fish. Mm. Look at that, that nice little crispy end. Oh, so good. Mm. Like I said, I like to eat the, the skin. This is that last and final bite. The skin is never good when it's left over. It's only good when it's nice and fresh. So here it is. Mm. Well, I could eat four more pieces of that. That was so good. Uh, if you like seafood recipes, check out my lemon pepper salmon bites or my broiled cod. Those are two really quick fish recipes that you'll absolutely love. I'll see you there.